Hello, this is Puppy Phoenix. I wanted to take a little bit of time and put a voice with a face and perhaps make the leather smoking fetish community a little tighter by making a self-introduction video and maybe starting a trend. <laughs> yeah, right. But since I have a bit of extra time on my hands due to some torn ligaments and my foot were running from a bear, I decided to make this video. No, we're not talking the cigar smoking, leather wearing, daddy type bear. No, if it was one of those, I would have been running at it instead of away from it. Anyway, I wanted to take some time to thank all you men out there, and even some women, for your compliments towards my humor, my taste in music, my creativity, my smoking form, shall we call it, my personal looks, and my leather. Thank you, everyone. Your compliments are quite flattering. So this is me, in all my glory. Yeah, whatever. So, I've been messaging back and forth with a couple of you, and I find myself overwhelmed with a series of questions and comments that I would like to take the time to answer as well as clarify some points. No, I'm not a sir. I'm a puppy. A bottom. Just because I wear a cover, or a meerkat as some people call it in Europe, does not make me a top. No, I'm just a gear intensive puppy who loves his smoke with his gear. In fact, I won't blink without it. Some of you are even convinced, though, that you can convert me into the meanest top ever. Sorry guys, no intention of switching anytime soon. I'm more concerned with peepees going in me rather than mine and others. And while we're on that subject, some people have asked me, how big is Phoenix Jr.? He's about 8 inches or 20.32 centimeters. Yeah, nice handle to drag a little pup around by. Meh. Why the name Phoenix? Well, my name comes from the mythical firebird that rises from the ashes, and the cosmic entity from the Marvel comic universe. My name has nothing to do with the city of Phoenix, uh, so I've only really been to Phoenix once, and it was pretty much just to go to a wedding in a neighboring town, so I drove in, drove out, that's all I've ever seen of Phoenix. What color are your eyes? They're blue. All people who are subject to epilepsy, please close your eyes as this may get shaky. See? Blue. Now, my hair is black, and uh, it can't really back that up as it's freshly shaved right now, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. Now, no, I am not a racist skinhead. I am a sharp skin, with sharp being an acronym for Skinheads Against Racial Prejudice. I don't support bigotry or intolerance against any race, religion, gender, or sexual orientation. I just assume that 99% of the people out there are assholes and need to prove me wrong on an individual basis. Besides, I would find it hard to believe in white supremacy, and I myself am Japanese, German, Irish, and English. Now lots of people are asking me, are you really living in Japan? Yes I am. I have been so since the tail end of 2006 and will continue until the end of 2007. Now a couple of people have been asking me, since you live in Japan can you speak and or read and write Japanese? Yes I can. Ore wa itoshi papira. I'm also struggling to recall German from high school. Ich bin ein Lebensvater Papi. So if anyone would like to help me with that, it would be greatly appreciated. I don't know if we can just do a language exchange, blah, 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 or just help a little puppy out, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, maybe I should study English more and build my vocabulary. Anyway. So. Now I'm going to start telling you gentlemen about what gets this puppy going when we light up and when leather starts smacking against leather. So here's the little darker tidbits of me. So um, first off, I'd like to say that.
So that's pretty much my kinkier side. So those are the most common questions I've been asked since I started posting. I thank you all very much for your comments and your praises. So I guess I'll keep milking it for what it's worth and I'll keep making some videos for you nice folks out there since you really do seem to appreciate it. I really do appreciate you. Also, I'm going to be opening a second screen name soon in order to express my more intellectual side, so please stay tuned for that. So again, thank you. Dankeschön. Domo arigatou gozaimasu.